welcome to another exciting video from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Great White Shark DC Origin. It can't get any better than DC supervillains. These bizarre oddities represent the devilish best of Gotham City's murky, gritty, and scary playground, and they stand in ideal antithesis to the crime-fighting, caped crusader, Batman. The streets and the gutters of Gotham City have given rise to many iconic supervillains that have left their mark on the DC universe. Today, we will be looking at one such villain who was practically a victim of his circumstances, and his villain origin story will definitely make you shudder. We present to you the Great White Shark, and no, it's not the aquatic creature. Great White Shark first appeared in Arkham Asylum Living Hell number 1 published on July 2003 and was created by Dan Slott and Ryan Sook. He goes on to appear in 66 issues of DC Comics. The real name of the Great White Shark was Warren White, who was a corrupt financer and embezzled millions of dollars. He was put on trial for his crimes and thought he had won a legal triumph when his insanity plea was accepted. However, he did not go free when he arrived in Arkham Asylum. He realized his error. For all intents and purposes, it is here where Warren's transformations into the Great White Shark took place after being driven insane by the other inmates. He was scarred by frostbite, which bleached his skin chalk white and left him without hair, a nose, or lips following an encounter in Mr. Freeze's cell. He dubbed himself the Great White Shark and filed his teeth into points to match his new moniker. White has become a significant participant in Gotham's underground crime scene, running a series of rackets from his cell in Arkham. Thanks to his financial talents, let us dive right into his origin story. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Great White Shark Backstory Warren White was a vicious banker known as the Great White Shark because of his veracity. Warren White was a white man with dark hair and a tiny mustache when he first appeared. He stole his company's pension fund and practically all the company's clients' life savings, both working class and upper class. He pleaded insanity to avoid incarceration, but the judge sentenced him to Arkham Asylum after learning that he had paid off the jury. White entered Arkham, obvious to the horrors he would endure believing that, like everything else in his life, he could buy his way out. However, following his discovery, he became the asylum's new fish, despised by both inmates and staff, even the Joker, said that he was the worst person he had ever met since, despite killing people, he doesn't take their children's college funds. Killer Croc later slit White's throat, because the new fish needed a set of gills, he reasoned. He eventually visited Dr. Ann Carver, the asylum psychiatrist, and offered her a $20 million bribe in exchange for his transfer to a minimal security jail. She consented, but it was later revealed, much to White's dismay, that the actual Ann Carver had died and had been replaced by Jane Doe, who had been exploiting Ann's image for months. Jane Doe was stopped by Batman and sent to prison herself. His request for a transfer was withdrawn once it was discovered that Jane performed all of White's mental tests and he remained in Arkham. For the next few weeks, he was assaulted and abused, and the asylum's medic eventually warned him that if he wanted to survive, he needed protection. He served Two-Face for several weeks in search of assistance, but after discovering that Two-Face would only protect him half the time, he begged to leave. When Two-Face learned of this, he attempted to decide whether White should live or die by flipping his coin. However, Humpty Dumpty came to his rescue and determined that White should share a room with him because he considered White was the worst man he had ever encountered and in his weird and twisted way, wanted to be the one to fix him. Jane Doe fled her jail later that night and kidnapped White. She then left him to die in Mr. Freezer's Sub-Zero room. White gradually lost his mind as well as his ears, lips, hair, nose, thumb, and several fingers after being locked up for hours. He sharpened his teeth to the point. Once he was out with his new appearance and insanity, he adopted the title Great White Shark and became Arkham's go-to guy for special vehicles, armaments, and necessary equipment for the convicts in the event of their escape, thus effectively being reborn as a scary Batman villain. Thus, Warren White is a cunning and shrewd criminal mastermind. He has excellent financial talents which he uses to fund criminal activities, purchase weapons, hire associates, 
and a range of variety of other activities. He's proven himself capable of overseeing a criminal empire, both inside and outside of Arkham Asylum. He lacks combat experience, but is capable with a rifle, and his sharpened fangs can always be used as an effective weapon if necessary. Great White Shark Various Story Arcs Having made his appearances in total of 66 issues of DC Comics, the Great White Shark has played a role in multiple storylines, varying in importance. Some of his major appearances and defining story arcs are as follows. White next returns as part of the wider One Year Later storyline in the Batman Face the Face arc, which ran through Detective Comics number 817 through 820 and Batman number 651 through 654. The Great White Shark had positioned himself as Gotham's supreme crime leader during the narrative, which saw Batman and Robin absent for a year. In this plot, the Great White Shark successfully used his underworld ties as well as the new tally man to assassinate various villains like Orca, KG Beast, and Ventriloquist who were linked to the Penguin. He was not only assassinating them, but he was also attempting to implicate the newly reformed Harvey Dent to their deaths. As an alibi, Great White remained in Arkham, commanding these actions from within, serving as a testament to his genius planning and organizing skills. Since then, Batman has confronted him and threatened to inform Two-Face of the frame-up, vowing to give Two-Face a shot at Great White if he is apprehended and returned to Arkham. Despite his prominence as one of the city's most prominent criminals, the Great White Shark remains imprisoned in Arkham, running his empire from within his cell and utilizing his confinement as a flawless alibi. He made his most recent appearance in Detective Comics number 832 when Batman captures another villain known as the Shark. A former member of the terrible trio, the Great White Shark was reportedly planning to punish the Shark for appropriating the monk Year White had claimed for himself when he was sent to Arkham. He then appears in the Gotham Underground storyline when the Great White Shark was savagely battered and imprisoned after being displaced during the recent takeover of Gotham's criminal underworld by Metropolis gangs, the 100, and the Intergang. Warren White was one of the many criminals being taken from Arkham Asylum to a secure location after the alleged death of Batman in Batman R.I.P. or the Batman for the Cowl. The convicts were subsequently drugged, resulting in quick death at Mask's command. Warren and his squad acknowledging Black Mask as their commander were armed to wreak havoc on the city once more ending Two-Face and Penguin's reigns over Gotham and restoring Black Mask as the supreme dictator of the underworld. Insane versions of Great White Shark in various forms of media. The Great White Shark is a brilliantly made character, and his backstory, and specifically his appearance coupled with an interesting name, makes him a fan favorite. He was appeared in multiple different medias. In the Batman vs. Dracula animated film, a character who looks eerily similar to the Great White Shark before his transformation appears at the opening. This anonymous figure, like White, is sane in reality but manages to plead insanity and end up in Arkham, where he is progressively being driven insane by the other convicts. However, because this character is nameless, it's unclear whether this is Warren White or a new character based on him. While the Great White Shark does not present in Batman, Arkham Asylum, a jar in the asylum's morgue bears his name, several human fingers, a nose, and a pair of lips float in formaldehyde in the jar, probably those lost to frostbite by White. Two more jars, similar to this, can be found in the medical facility, secure access cabinet in the room where the scarecrow used his fear gas on the guards and the doctors. A Riddler question mark was discovered at the bottom of the page, indicating that Riddler may require him for underground objectives similar to Penguin's, but on the other side of the battle. He has a fair share of video games depicting him. In the 2009 video game Batman, Man, Arkham Asylum, the Great White Shark, is mentioned. The Riddler's in-game bio can be unlocked by solving one of his riddles. The answer to the question may be discovered in a jar in the game's morgue, which compromises his nose, lips, 
one ear, and two fingers. A sign reading W. White atop a building and amusement mile in the 2011 video game Batman Arkham City refers to the Great White Shark. During Ra's al Ghul's Trial of the Demon, this sign reappears. The container that opened Great White Shark's bio in Batman Arkham Asylum was seen in the evidence room of the Gotham City Police Department in Batman Arkham Knight. With that, we come to the end of this character study of yet another memorable DC villain. When it comes to unique and deranged villains, DC Comic is the gift that keeps on giving. With no nose, lips, ears, or hair, and deathly pale white skin and teeth razored down to resemble shark fangs, the Great White Shark is a villain that will not be easily forgotten. However, his story is also a classic example of philosophical understanding and analysis of Gotham. As we see how the penitentiary system and the jails of Gotham are spaces that effectively create villains out of them. This is a story of a regular crook driven insane in Arkham Asylum that leads him to become an even more dangerous villain whose sense of self now depends on criminal persona. What do you think about the Great White Shark? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.